We're on an Ashling, and right now we are in the Malaysian capital city of Kuala Lumpur. So stick around to see what these two big Irish kids get up to and make of the big city. We have literally just arrived in the city here and we've got straight into our accommodation, checked in and dropped our bags off and we are out now for a bit of an explore around. But to be honest, we hadn't really intended on coming out this evening. We thought we were just gonna chill out in the apartment and not really do anything. But on the journey to our accommodation, we couldn't believe how built up and massive the city looks. So we just can't resist. We'll have to get out and go check out what all's out there. Everything looks so impressive, but there's one yeah. thing we definitely wanna check out today and that is the part in Twin Towers. So we're gonna try and get this public transport into the town, check out what's there and then just take it from there. Yeah, so wish us luck. some really good things about the public transport here in Kuala Lumpur, but there are quite a few to learn about so it might take us a few days to get our head around it. I think they've got like a subway, a train, an LTR, a metro and like maybe something else all running around the city. So like as Ashley said there's a lot of different options for public transport and supposedly we've been told that it's actually free as well for the next month. So hopefully during our stay here in the city our transport will be free majority of the time but we're gonna have to wait and find out and see what the crack is once we get to the ticket office. So we are hoping to get the commuter in towards the city centre and once we got to the ticket office we actually got one of these tokens for free so hopefully during our time in KL we'll be able to see a lot more of the city for a lot less money. So that was pretty handy, but now we have actually missed our stop, so we're having to get off here at this station, don't know where we're at, and we have to then switch over to a different form of transport to get to where we actually want to be. But yeah, it's pretty handy so far, seems very clean and very, very efficient as well. So we actually thought we were able to change lines here and get another train or metro or tram or subway or something to the location we're looking to go. It turns out we can't. So we're having to get back onto the computer that we just got off, go back down two stops to where we should have originally got off and then switch lines there. down to the subway and then I think get the whole way into KLCC. Fingers crossed. <laughs> crap that was a bloody experience <laughs> so it turns out it's actually rush hour and the subway was ram packed we could hardly even like squeeze on at all so so packed so we're off now we're walking through like some wee tunnel and hopefully we're going to pop out of klcc park but we'll wait and see <laughs> wow <laughs> that's all i have to say <laughs> We have literally just walked straight out of the subway onto the main street and literally right above us is the Twin Towers. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. They are absolutely massive when you're right underneath them. And the subway has completely blew our mind. I couldn't believe how packed it was. Literally the train and the subway was chocker blocked, so it was just insane. But we're nearly there. We're gonna go on a hunt for KLCC Park, which is one of the main park areas here in the city. Check it out, sit and stare at the towers and then see what else we can find. So the Twin Towers is the main thing that we wanted to check out today and they're actually the tallest Twin Towers in the entire world. They're 451.9 metres tall and 88 storeys high and honestly they are, they are just so so impressive. We just keep banging on and going on about these tires but oh my god they are so impressive I literally can't believe the size of them I knew they were gonna be massive but they are just 
insanely massive, like possibly the biggest buildings I've ever seen and I'm just completely blown away by the structure of them and just the appearance of them. They're so clean, so modern, so fresh looking and just amazing. But I've actually no idea what they're for. I've no idea what's inside it, if it's like businesses, if it's office blocks or partially hotel. Don't have a clue so I'm going to have to do a bit of research and find out what they're actually used for because they have just blown my mind today. The architecture in general as well across the whole city has just been mind blowing. When we were stuck on the subway or the tram for as long as what we were, we were just so blown away by all the amazing buildings that we were looking at all over and we just can't wait to explore some more of the city. Okay, so our first mission was to go see the tower. Our second mission now is to find KLCC Park, which we think is very, very close. And we know it's literally around the bottom of the tower. So we're gonna to try to make our way around there now. Maybe even pick up some food in the way as well. So we've just made our way over to KLCC Park. We picked up some donuts and a coffee, and we're gonna go grab a seat. So we did go in the hunt for some type of Malaysian food out of like a wee street vendor or a market or something, but it was actually much harder find than we thought. So we got these donuts out of a supermarket, but they are super fresh and we are buzzing because we haven't had a donut in ages and we love donuts. Unreal. Check out the roots in these trees. So the main reason we were looking to come to the park here this evening is because every day at 8 p.m. there's some sort of water light show happens. So we're really looking to check it out. So hopefully it'll be pretty good. It's a free activity and you have a great view of the towers from down here. Yeah. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah, and the park in general is really, really nice. It's great to see there's so much green around the city as well. So many trees. So many seats. Couldn't believe it. Like, yeah, so for such a built up city, there's honestly so much greenery, so many plants and seats and stuff around. And it's absolutely fantastic to see. So while we're waiting for the light to happen here in the park. We thought this would be a good time to mention as well that we visited quite a few places in Malaysia before getting to KL here. We actually came from the Cameron Highlands, then before that we were in Penang in the Georgetown area and also Lang Kwai. Our Lang Kwai video is up on our channel now if you want you can go check it out and for our Highlands video and our Penang video we had a few technical difficulties with them so hopefully they're going to be up in the next few weeks so make sure to stay tuned to check them out as well. bit stupid right now. The water started around half seven and we were like oh the water show has started. It finished at eight and now there's a full blown thing going on in front of us and yeah we thought we were watching the water show but it's only starting now. <laughs> so we have a full second water show. Woo! I'm so glad it is though because the first half an hour we were kind of like okay this is a bit pathetic. Yeah, we were <laughs> so like I'm this glad. isn't what yeah. I expected. No but... not at all. So this one's looking much better so hopefully it's going to continue that way. This water show has music as well. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm so glad there was a second round of the light show there because the first one just wasn't anything special at all. Second one was pretty cool, yeah, it but was. like it was still no Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> but we were here from around half seven, and from half seven till eight was the the warm up act. We're yeah, gonna call the warm up it. show. The warm up show. And then show. from eight till quarter past eight, it got a wee bit more exciting. So it was definitely yeah. something cool to come and check out. Yeah, definitely. And for a free activity, wicked. Can't <laughs> complain. So as always, Owen needed to go to the toilet, so we came into the shopping centre here. The shopping centre is like very fancy, pretty pretty swanky, all like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, big expensive shops. Very out of our zone though, completely. And yeah, I just was down to go and went up to the toilet and the lady was like, too rigged. And I was like, flip, too rigged just to go to the toilet. I just need to pee, to be honest. So, so we paid anyway. Paid anyway, cut and hold. And then we came out and Ashley was like standing and laughing, wetting herself. I was like, what's going on? And there was a big, massive sign right outside the toilet saying, this is the only premium toilet in the shopping center. That it's an extra like luxury toilet. All the other, all the other toilets in the shopping center are completely free of charge. How was your premium toilet experience? 
I peed in the urinal, you know, nothing special. She gave me some wipes. There was a man in the bathroom looking tips for giving me soap, and I was like, no, I've already gave you two ring it, mate. Not happening. So <sighs> go to any other floor than the floor you come in off KLCC Park if you're looking to go to the toilet. Yeah, don't get ripped off like me. There's free toilets everywhere in the shopping centre, apart from the one toilet that I went to, the premium toilet. I feel so daft. Okay, so we're back out in the park now, got my bathroom break, it's all good. And the light show's actually still going on behind us here as well, so we've kind of gave up watching it to be honest because it just seems to keep going and going and going. And we definitely uh, will be back to check it out over the next few weeks uh, as well. Without a doubt, definitely we'll come back and check it out again because it is pretty cool. But we're going to make our way home back to our accommodation now pretty soon. We're staying in the Regala residence, I think it's pronounced, which is a massive, big, built up, huge, like condo block, apartment type of place, we're not too sure. It's the biggest place we have ever stayed in. It is massive. Massive. It is so, so big. We couldn't believe it whenever we arrived. And what we've actually booked is an apartment for just the two of us. And we're so happy with it. It's been a full treat to us because normally we're staying in like double rooms and places that aren't that nice to be honest. And this is a lovely big apartment with a nice bed, a beautiful view and balcony. And it's just been wicked to be honest. We also have a little treat this evening. One of the yeah. main reasons why we booked it was because on the 37th floor, it has an infinity pool, which is something we've never had before or experienced and it looks like it has an insane view over the city so we cannot wait to go up there and just show ourselves tonight yeah yeah so we are in Kuala Lumpur for the next two weeks and we do hope to get out to see a lot more of the city if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comments below we would really appreciate them any food street stalls anything please let us know because we would love to check them out we are complete foodies like so any food recommendations would be amazing but to sum up our day in Kuala Lumpur so far and just our first impressions in general I would say in three words massive like modern so so developed and, and so impressive completely yeah. so impressive impressive is an understatement like we have been blown away by the city so far and we can't wait just to explore so much more of it and impressive I would say has to be our ultimate statement and word to just summarize our whole experience here so far in the city just insane, you can't believe it. So if you've enjoyed this video, we would love it if you would give us a like, comment, subscribe, and follow us along on our Kuala Lumpur adventures. If you want to come along with us now, we're going to head to the Infinity Pool back at our place, and we are buzzing. <coughs> to our apartment block, dropped off our bags and we're heading up to the 37th floor to go to the infinity pool and I am so so excited. Woo! <laughs> Actually check out the view from this pool, it is absolutely insane, the city lights are so so mantle, it is so so bright and we literally have a perfect view straight across to the twin towers right here behind us. I actually can't believe how nice this is. It is just blowing our minds and what a way to finish off the day as well. But I can't wait to actually get into the pool so we're going for a dip now. What an evening we have literally just had. This pool and this view has been absolutely insane. We could spend all day here, <laughs> but unfortunately we can only book ourselves in for one hour per day. But yeah. we definitely will be getting up to see this view every single day while we're here. Yeah, without a doubt. But it has now turned 10 o'clock at night. The pool is just closed and we are the last ones here. So we're gonna get one last look at the few and then we're gonna head back to the room for the rest of the evening. But we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we would love it if you hit the like button, if you subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we will see you again for much more videos around KL and the rest of Malaysia. See ya.